All right, hello everyone. Uh, I saw a video a while back where someone got like, I think like eight clones or something and the run lasted for eight hours. So I'm gonna be trying to reset for a clone on the first rainbow chest in the rainbow run. And hopefully that cuts down on the amount of time I have to waste just playing through and not ever actually ever getting the clone because I want to replicate what that guy did. And I've done it a few times before, but the most I've ever gotten was, I think, two clones. So, yeah, we'll see when I get a clone. Okay, so it didn't actually take too long. I think it was, like, probably less than ten resets. I uh, got the clone finally. Um, the first floor will probably be the hardest because I don't have any items to use other than, you know, obviously the clone and my uh, starter pistol which is pretty good but you know having like an s tier passive item or another s tier gun that would be really nice to have but for the sake of saving time i'm going to be doing what i just said before and resetting for the clone on the first floor all right water barrels there hopefully i remember that if i somehow break the one in the other room Let me know, loyal viewers, how you like this new thing, because I probably won't do it much, but if this clone thing kicks off, which it obviously will, I get millions of views, clearly, um, I might do it some more, just because it's fun. I don't know, die. Uh, yeah, the clone, this clone run's pretty actually kind of fun, because it's like, the effects snowball so quickly where just within a few floors you already are busted. Sometimes you just press and hold left click and you already win. I think one time before I got the cactus synergies, the cactus gun, and those were really good. I just basically held down left click and then I had blank bullets, got all the secret rooms that way, killed everything just by looking at them funny. It was great. Hopefully that happens this time. Um, with any luck, I'm not going to be hit too much during the boss fights, with, because, you know, health upgrades are nice. They're not necessary, but I would like those master rounds, especially for if I want to go to the R, G, and D depart department, I think it's called, which I definitely will in the later f runs. The first run won't matter so much because I already have the clone, but in the future resets of the clone, I will want to have as many... No, I'm not going to get that key. Keys aren't very useful. I want to have as many opportunities to get that clone as possible, which would mean accessing every single floor. That would be, ideally, that would be the Oubliette, and then I'm just going to do the boss fight now. The Oubliette, then the Abbey of the True King, plus the Rat's Room, Rat Slayer, I think it's called, uh, and the... Sorry, I'm trying to think. And the RG and D. Uh, honestly, Bullet King should not be hard. It's probably one of the easier boss fights on the first floor, but I have a tendency to screw it up because I'm dumb and stupid. But let's see how it goes. Still have two blanks, so I gotta keep that in mind. I really hate the. Ugh, really hate that burst shot that comes out of the top of his throne. It's very annoying. Oh, I'm just gonna blank that. <laughs> Much easier than actually having to think, because, like I said before, you probably really only need to think on the first two or three floors, tops, because... Oh, hopefully I don't die. Because once you get all those busted items, you usually have something that either breaks a uh, DPS cap or... That was nice. Either breaks a DPS cap or you have something that gives you invulnerability, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I don't need to go to all the floors on the first run, but for the sake of getting as many items as possible, I will be trying to go to every single secret floor, which I have a pretty good track record of at least going to the Oubliette and the Rat's Lair and the RNG and D. Uh, I'm usually pretty good with the Rat, but uh, 
I do have a tendency to get hit before I make it to the uh, before I can get the crest to the the altar. So hopefully that doesn't happen. <sighs> How do YouTubers do this? Like I can't even think of what to talk about. I'm just video jamming. I've heard that some people like to shoot that barrel and roll into it at the same time and then that gives them like a little boost in forward momentum. I don't know if that's effective, I don't know if that's safe. Don't try it at home kids, but yeah, apparently it works. I think I've done a few times, but I prefer not to. Man, no point in even checking these chests. I'm just Honestly, I don't really need to go through all the f all the rooms in a floor, but it's just out of habit. And if I do happen to get Sir Junkin out of the rainbow chest, which I'm not sure is possible, but if it is, you know, it's nice to have all this junk. Just checking if there's any armor or blanks that I want. There were blanks, but I was just gonna get those blanks back afterwards. Usually towards the end, towards the once the ball gets rolling with the run. I usually like to just buy everything. Um, I'm thinking the Gunther is probably the best long-term investment. This one's pretty good sometimes, but I don't know. I think I'll stick with Gunther. Gunther, you just never have to worry about ammo. Still good damage. And then you can stack on a bunch of effects onto it later on in the run. So, might... I'll probably end up not using it later on in the run when I get better guns, but for now, it's really good. I don't know, I thought it was aimed pretty well. Shut up, Gunther. No, no, no. Sorry, that's cyberbullying. Is that cyberbullying? I don't know. <sighs> Already out of ideas to talk about. This, I don't know if I'm supposed to make this a family friendly. Yeah, it's gonna be a long day. Probably not gonna do all this in one go anyways. I am being a responsible college student and putting off my work to by playing Enter the Gungeon. So I'm probably and then I have class in like two hours or something, so I'm probably only gonna play the first clone run and then take a break, go to class, do actual work and then come back to it later. Because well, they were nice in the... I forget when they updated it, but they did add, eventually add these newfangled buttons that let you pause between floors, which is nice. Oh, that's a lot of blanks. I like that. I'm gonna save my money for now though. I don't know how much I'm gonna be getting this floor, and I wanna make sure I have enough for the rat key. I've been doing pretty well so far, and by pretty well I mean as well as you should expect from someone who's played several hundred hours. Oh, don't call me that. At least we got bounty bullets now. But yeah, I should not be getting hit, which is what's happened so far, but cannot say that all the time. I'm usually pretty bad like I mentioned before, but... Eh, he died. Nice. Yeah, as you can already see, Gunther is getting pretty good, just with the bouncy alone. We do get homing on the last stage of friendship with Gunther, which, ooh, I thought that was an enemy bullet. <laughs> is there some? Oh, there he is. Yeah, right now it's bouncy bullets, but later on it becomes homing bullets and they lose their bounciness, which is less nice, but still, homing is really good, so I'm not gonna complain. Uh, my least favorite enemy is this, I forget, I think it's like a veteran shotgun kin, but I hate those because fast bullets, they predict where you're moving, and then when they die they shoot out this erratic burst of bullets, it's very annoying. Especially if you don't have a good gun to deal with them and you have to like whittle them down slowly. That's 
truly the worst. These guys are annoying too sometimes, but... Yeah, thanks. Thanks, mate. Thought it was alright too. Why should I... It's... Why am I talking to Gump? It's literally just... Ones and zeros. Also, I am... Forgot to mention, but... In order to reduce the amount of noise that you hear from my clicking and tapping on the keyboard, uh, I have put a blanket over my keyboard and mouse while I'm playing, so... My... My keyboard and mouse are getting very... Moist. Sorry if that hurt anyone's... Earbuds, I might turn that down in editing. Uh, speaking of editing, I don't know how I'm gonna structure the editing in this. Ooh, structure the editing in this kind of video. I don't know if I wanna just post the full video or should I cut it out and just post the highlights? I don't know, it depends, because I know it can eh, I know it can get pretty redundant after a while if everything's busted and just the same thing over and over again. So maybe towards the beginning I'll just show everything and then uh, then once I have the more busted items I can just you know show off funny moments that happen during the run. Uh, now that I think about it, actually no, I was gonna s oh, I hate this. I was gonna say that maybe I should have waited until Gunther leveled up before I entered the boss room, but in this case, Bouncy Bullet is probably better than uh, homing for Blobby Lord since oh, let me see that. since Blobby Lord is already such a huge hitbox, it doesn't really matter. Whereas with uh, whereas with the bouncy shots, I have a chance to double hit with each bullet. But let's be honest, it doesn't matter. Blobby Lord is so easy. I do get hit sometimes, but if I do, I shame myself because that's bad. And this is one of the easiest bosses that you can consistently practice against since it's really not hard to get to the oubliette and not hard to get to the oubliette and you always get that. He's always there. Blobby Lord's always there. Now I have six blanks, and then I can give at least five half hearts to this guy. So I'm gonna be pretty stacked in terms of money and blanks. And normally I also go about one heart, one full heart over the past, you know, full health when I talk to this guy or girl. I don't know, just so I can. I think that's one. yeah and then just because a lot of times I don't get hit on the later f oh I hope there's a key there oh thank you <laughs> ah poopies all right that doesn't matter it's still no net profit or loss with that I think that this guy always charges the same amount that the store charges uh, unless you have an item that gives you a discount in the shop. So yeah, I'm not gonna waste these blanks looking for the secret room. The secret room, I do like to find it, but for this run it doesn't really help too much since they're usually just chests in there, and, you know, chests aren't helpful. 